Good morning, guys. This is Kenzo Extra Out Forex. So let's go straight to our weekly analysis this Sunday. So we're going to, uh, actually straight to a very seriously busy uh, week. Uh, I'm going to show you the economic calendar uh, before the end of the video. So we will see which uh, actually the news that we're going to check and which we're going to actually pay attention to. Plus, we're going to go on our live session to see if maybe we can trade one or two. So as you know, don't forget, uh, guys, don't forget to smash the subscribe button, like, share with your friends. What's really happening on GBPUSD? I think it's quite, quite, quite straightforward. Uh, before we even have this, you can easily see that the market is actually on an uptrend. And as you know, we follow the trends. We follow the trend. And once the market is showing us that something like this, we uh, can easily identify the trends. And you can see the market is touching these areas. And once we draw the support area, it makes sense just makes sense so from there we just uh, try to draw our support area plus we can see where the market is actually uh, respecting from there we were just matching gbp usd so last friday actually the market gave us something here you can see that the market actually retested but where you can see that we have a resistant area let's mark that area and see uh, for ourselves, let's mark that area. You can see that actually. You can easily see that. Yes, the market actually touched this area. Sorry, broke out, touched as a risk, uh, as a retest, and then the, now the market is actually pushing to the moon. Is pushing to the upside as it's a continuation of this uptrend. The market is actually uptrending. I hope maybe you see what I'm trying to show you. Let's push to the next one which is euro gbp sorry euro, euro jpy what's really happening here i think it's also quite straightforward the market uh, if we go back here you can easily see that the market is been actually pushing to the upside you see that the market is respecting our trend and we still expect the market to fly but where we are now the market actually pushed to the upside but uh, we saw a nice rejection uh, we saw a nice rejection coming back. The market actually was trying to play games. We see we have a sort of a resistance around there. Then I'm expecting a very nice sell before another continuation of this uptrend. I'm expecting the market to keep buying, by the way. But where we are now, uh, the market might give us something. You see this area. That area might be a sort of a support as we are actually on four hours time frame, which means we're going to check this again tomorrow. The market might respect this area and push the upside. Or maybe the market can break this area, uh, this support area, as it's not really that strong. Then after that, we might see a push to the upside. Do you see that? I hope you see that. Yes, the market might break and start to push the lower side. But if that happens, I think we will be actually watching. Everyone will be here actually seeing whatever that's happening. So now we are actually on GBPJPY. Uh, this is a very nice uh, trend also. We can easily see that the market is actually pushing to the upside. So let's try to draw our thing, our support area. You can see that makes sense. That actually makes sense. Uh, as you know, I'm going to draw double lines just to make uh, so that's to avoid fake breakouts. We have to avoid fake breakouts, right? So now we have a support like this, which shows us that the market respected several times. But along the way, the market started to go crazy, and now we see. The market is seriously flying. So we have to also catch up on that and see what's really happening. So we have to draw something. We have to connect this point. So you can see, I think I have a point uh, or structure, this area and also this area. If we draw something there, that might make sense. They're obviously going to make sense. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Do you see that? I think this makes sense. So I'm just going to draw double lines also just to make sure that we don't fall for any fake breakout. Uh, so we have something like this. Let's see. GBPUSD. So we are still actually on a very strong uh, uptrend. So, But we have to identify 
where the market is bouncing back so that we can keep actually buying as the market is pushing to the upside you can see where i drawn these lines they make sense because it was a previous resistant previous support something like that do you see that do you see that i see another one back here if you can identify this guys this is something that you can use for so many structures for so many currency pairs or let's say instruments whether it's nasdaq us data or currency pairs mostly you're going to find this type of a move and you will see that the market is just consolidating push up consolidating push up consolidating and when you check the market is still respecting the trend the market is just going like that the market use that type of structure actually to keep pushing to the upside so now now we easily see that the market along the way is still pushing to the upset and we see that okay on top here we had a sort of a resistance quite similar to back here and then the market did what the market broke out you can see even here the market broke up so what do we expect i'm expecting quite similar move actually quite similar move to have something maybe like this along the way something like this something like this do you see sir do you see that so where we are now obviously you can't jump on that buy but we can expect the market to come back and we can try to buy along the way and we can let it push to the upside something like this might actually happen i hope you see that i hope you see that so let's push to the next one remember i'm going to show you some economic news and also yeah some economic news so what are we going to do actually next week or what to expect next week so don't forget to smash that subscribe button like share with your friends if you want to be part of the team you know what to do check my description but we have a special 99 dollars you can join our vip signals which is lifetime so what's really happening on gold gold has been playing games but the bigger picture here is still telling us that we are on an uptrend and the market is not breaking this area the market is not breaking this area and every time when the market touches this area we might see the market trying to play games around these areas but at the end of the day we might see the market push into the upside you can see even see here here we are still waiting for that push the upside but are you ready i think we saw you're supposed to be ready because next week next week we're going to have enough economic news so we can capitalize on that we can capitalize on that so let's zoom closer let's zoom closer and see what's really happening uh we can easily see that the market is actually doing what the market is actually playing around this support area the market tried to push the upside but we have since the market respected this support area you can see the support the market has been actually playing around that so now we have an area that we can call a resistance the market did break that uh, area but it was a fake breakout the market just shoot up and came back very quick i think it was during economic news from canada then we saw a push to the uh, to the upset so where we are now we easily see that yes there is a room for the market to push the upset but that means the market has to break this resistance or maybe the market will push lower before we see another push the upside or maybe the market will be just pushing lower remember we have cpi and other ones which i'm going to show you maybe we will see what will happen then after we might see a nice push to the upside or maybe a push to the downside so we will see we will see what will happen we will see what will happen i hope you're doing great don't forget that actually monday to friday we go on our live sessions guys so if you don't want if you don't really want to miss that you can smash the subscribe like share like share or subscribe and also the, the notification button what's really happening on us 30 us 30 us 30 the market has been actually showing us that i'm struggling to push to the upset guess what that changed uh last friday or uh, last friday on friday the time we had like nfp then the market started to push the upset but on along the way the market gave us a nice resistance there and then we see that the market was struggling to break but on friday last friday uh not the friday of uh, nfp the market tried to push the upside and we were in a very nice smaller profit but we saw aggressive rejection but it seems like the market wants to continue with that the market wants to continue with that 
S, I think maybe I did not draw this nice. This is supposed to be here. Yeah, you see that? So we had a buy around this area. We made a small profit. Doom, the market pushed lower. Then, but I'm still expecting the market to continue with that bullish momentum. But since tomorrow is going to be Monday, I'm just expecting something like this. The, the market just to consolidate. On Tuesday, we have economic, uh, eco high economic news, high impact economic news. On Wednesday, we also have the same. Thursday, the same. So it means this week is a fundamental, actually fundamental week. You see, but I'm actually since the market break uh, broke out here, I'm expecting a very nice push to the upset. I'm expecting a very nice push to the upset, and I think the market might try to catch up with Nasdaq. US thirty might try to catch up with Nasdaq. That is also possible. So on Nasdaq, the one and only, what's really happening? Don't don't forget to smash that subscribe button, like share with your friends if you want to join the team. Join the team for actually $99. You can actually receive lifetime signal. So what do we see here? We see that the market is still actually on that bullish momentum. But now the market is now flying. Where we are now on Friday, we did actually have some very nice trades. And we were buying. You can see this thing is crazy. The market pushed up very nice. The market pushed up very nice then. Boom, the market tried to push lower again. But I'm still expecting the market to do what? To keep flying. I'm expecting the market to keep pushing to the upset. So I will clear this thing here and maybe on top there. You can see that that is actually our resistant. That is actually our resistant. Do you see that? So we can easily see say the market is actually respecting that area. As we can see that the market respected, sorry, the market respected this point here. You can see the other one. The market just touched and started to run away. Even here, the market did the same thing. So the question is, where will the market go actually on Monday? I think the market will just play around the same level until we receive some high economic news. Then we're going to see the market fly. You see, so let's go straight to those economic news. But I'm still bullish actually on you uh, on Nasdaq. If maybe we have we, we're going to have some sell, I think maybe that sell will actually reach this area as a support before maybe we push to the upside. Before we push to the upside, so let's go straight to those uh, economic news. So let's see, let's see, let's see. I hope you're gonna see this. Uh, let me try to zoom. Let me try to zoom. Okay. I think it's fine. So let's see. Uh, on 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 Tuesday, on Monday, we don't actually have any uh, high impact news. You can see that. Uh, so on Tuesday, on Tuesday we have CPI, very 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 high impact news. We see here they they predict that maybe the numbers will be going lower, which is actually good. I'm expecting it to go like seriously lower. So if it does, uh, then we're gonna see a very nice buy. We're going to see a very nice buy on 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 Nasdaq. Let's say any pair that goes with a, a USD. On Wednesday, uh, on Wednesday we have FOMC interest rates, which we all know that the market is going to go crazy. So they expect them not to increase, which I believe maybe they're not going to increase that much. Then that will be fine. We will see what happens. Actually, we will see what happens. So, for those who don't know, if sorry, if they're not going to increase uh, here, let's say maybe they're just going to keep them the same. They say if five, uh, five point two five, five point twenty five basis points. We're going to see uh, USD losing the value. So it means if maybe you have like Euro USD, you will be buying USD CAD, you will be selling something like that. If they keep interest rate the same, right? So on Thursday, on Thursday, we have enough. Also, we also have interest rates from Europe. That is something we should, uh, we're supposed to check. AUD, unemployment change from uh, Australia. But we have retail sales from US around half past two. We're going to go live on there, uh, on this ones. And retail sales, sorry, it's core retail sales and unemployment 
uh, claims. This once we know that they actually move some uh, very nice. So we'll, we don't actually have to miss th uh, this actually. You can see Tuesday until Thursday we have some serious important news. So this gives us that next week actually we're going to have some very nice trades. And if we wait, it's going to be way too easier for us just to navigate uh, the market. So anyways, don't forget to smash the subscribe button, like, share with your friends. This is Kenzo Extra Hot Forex. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.